Starting out with the Decepticons right now. Here's a 1986 line. Here we got Trypticon, the big guy. And he sold for about $60 back in the day. This is the poster box version right here. Electronics, lights, he's got everything, man. He's a really awesome Transformer. Um, hopefully they reissue him. Even if they reissue him, though, he'd probably be well over $100 because he's so heavy and big. Um, next up, we're going to move on to Runabout and Runamuck. Uh, Runabout's bubble is pretty crappy. It was sun damaged, and I opened him, but Runamuck is okay. The Battle of Chargers. And then we're going to move on to Octane. Nice box, nice figure. Tough to find. He's the toughest of all the triple changes, I think, to find in good shape. Even sealed. Um, I don't know why they didn't release more 1986 triple changes for the Decepticons, but for some reason... They just released him, and I think Astro Train and Blitzwing were released in 86 too, because I've seen poster box versions of them too as well. They should have put at least one more new Decepticon in there. That would have been kind of cool, like a triple changer. Then we're going to go on to Scourge right here. I, actually, a funny thing about this guy is I bought him sealed. The bubble's so badly sun damaged, and the box is kind of warped, but I didn't care. I paid a ton of money for him. I don't know why, but I needed Scourge, and I opened him up, and I, I put all the pictures on a website called tfwire.com uh, it's kind of funny here we go with Cyclonus and I got this guy from a nice seller he was selling his whole entire Transformer collection years ago on eBay um, he had all the 1984 through like, I think 1988 Transformers and I got Cyclonus for like a really good deal uh, like a hundred bucks I think and I opened him up but I couldn't help it and I don't regret it because he's an awesome figure and now we're gonna go on to Gnaw I did a whole video review of him on on YouTube. Check that one out. I'm not going to get too much detail about him. He's one of my favorites. And then we're going to go on Japanese Galvatron. It's the only Japanese toy I have. Kind of cheated on this one. It's not American, obviously. You can tell by the lettering, but he's still sealed in the in the box. You got a good deal on him, and I'm like, screw it. I'll just buy him. D62 right there. <clears throat> Scramble City. Let me show you the back of the box. Kind of interesting. A little bit of fading, I think. They got a pretty cool battle scene. They got all the heavy hitters right there. You got Menasaur, Superion, Metroplex, Trypticon. Got little verses and tech specs. Tape still sealed. It's yellowing, though. Okay, we're going to some cassettes for Soundwave. We got Ratbat and Frenzy. With the gold weapons. Right, that's still sealed. I'll probably open that guy up. I didn't pay a lot for him. With a price tag of six ninety nine. What a deal. Okay, now. Where am I? Let's go with my uh, Combaticons. we got Onslaught. <clears throat> the leader right here. Sealed in box. Brawl, my favorite. Probably never opened that one up. I got a loose one that I got for Christmas in 86, I think. A tank, and the one that took me forever to get—I don't know why it was so hard to find a stupid packaging, packaging for this guy. I would have bought a sealed one, but I was like, "Screw it! I'm just gonna buy an open one." And I got uh, Swindle right here. He was the last one I needed. Thank God I'm done with him. Oh man, it was a nightmare to find a stupid bubble in packaging for this guy. God. Okay, we got Blast Off. Obviously, the bubble's coming off. I got him with the Toys R Us tag of. 3.99, and then we got a nice sealed vortex. Another Toys R Us sticker, 3.99. Cool, T two Toys R Us stickers. I didn't notice that before. Okay, let's move on to the Predacons. I got all five of them. It's gonna be kind of hard to get this shot here, but here they all are. Liddy was auctioning these off on uh, eBay f about five years ago. I told her I'd give her 300 for all five of them. She said no. A lot of them have unused stickers and everything. They don't have the bubble inserts, but everything's like mint condition and real nice instruction booklets, all that crap. She said no. So she listed them on eBay for all, all uh, by themselves. And I went every single auction. She had all five of them for about 250 which was kind of cool. I got all of them all. She was surprised that I won every single one of them. <laughs> she lost out on 50 bucks. I would have paid 300 for all of them, but oh well. That's her loss. So that's all the Predacons. No reissues. Razor Claw is probably my favorite with, uh, I guess, Dive Bomb being second. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna move go on to the Stunicons. Here we go. Now this was the first combiner team I ever completed. This is like way back, maybe seven, eight years ago or something, I think. And we got a Motormaster here. These were all sealed until I opened them. I didn't care. I still don't care. I'm glad I did. Uh, Motormaster there. Nice shape. Dead end. Probably my favorite character on uh, the Stunicons. And then we got a breakdown here with a $2 price tag, which is funny. I think I paid 40 for him or something. He was sealed. They were all sealed. And then I got <coughs> Wild Rider right there. And I got a loose Wild Rider too that I got extra. And then we got Drag Strip right there. Not a bad card on him. Okay, now we're going to get the good stuff. Okay, I got the tough to get mail order reflector here. Not a knockoff. This guy's the real deal. No cheap knockoff crap for me. <clears throat> He's got the instruction booklet. There's the box. Man, couldn't they have made like a better box for him? But anyways, I guess this is to cut prices down or something. And here's all the figures. I got unused stickers for them. Um, everything's original. And then we'll move on to the big thing. And that is the STARS Command Center. Secret Transformer Autobot Rescue Squad. And I'm it's not complete, but it's probably the closest thing we'll ever get for it being complete. And you can put your um, tech specs of any Autobot or even Decepticon here. And it reads them for you. It's just just throw it in there and it kind of reads it. I can't get the damn thing out. I used Topspin, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't fell all the way in there. Anyways, let's get going here. You got all the different sections here. You got the armory right here. I'm probably going to get a shot of this. Got a door here on this side. Sorry, Hound. Sorry, alert. Got rat traps, rat traps gun right there. Anybody need a gun? And this goes down. And this thing comes up. It's kind of hard to get this. I got just no room in this place. <clears throat> and then we got the patch. It's the catalog. I got this, which I'm going to show you in a second here. Okay, and here we got. The, I opened up the um, top secret tech spec manual real quick. Just tells you a bunch of stuff about it. Tells you all the um, details, what's inside of this tech spec thing. And then you go on the back, and it just shows you some uh, bios and stuff of the Transformers. Some of them. I don't know why they. They kind of shows like weird ones. It's like Inferno, Kickback, Snarl. I love him, but I don't know why they chose him. It's kind of weird. Mega Supreme Megatron, I could understand. Devastator, but. Kick back and in front of kind of weird. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And we got a instruction booklet. Just tells you how to put it together. I kind of have it open a little bit. It's supposed to be more closed, but I kind of like it open more. And there's just like uh, the camera's kind of bad. It's, it's tough to get all the shots in. And just tells you how to kind of put it together. Okay, so that's about it for the 86 line. I finally done it. Oh, thank God. 84, 85, and 86 are all done with boxes and packaging and weapons and every single thing else. So uh, I'm missing a couple things in the stars. I'm missing the membership card, and I think there's a poster, but the poster's no big deal to me because it's just the back of the 86, or no, not the 86, but the 85 background and all um, 85 Transformers. It's no big deal. So that's it. Okay, so that does it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time on YouTube. I'll be doing a couple more reviews on some stuff. Uh, Got to figure out what I want to do. All right. Adios.